At some point in his or her career, an attorney, his or her law firm, or his or her client is going to be the subject of bad publicity as a result of a media outlet getting something very wrong in their reporting. In this video, I'll tell you what to do if this happens to you. Hi everyone, my name is Wayne Pollock. I am an attorney who helps other attorneys and their clients ethically, strategically, and proactively engage the court of public opinion. In this video, correcting the record in the court of public opinion. There will be an instance, I'll almost guarantee it, where you, your law firm, or your client is going to be on the receiving end of bad publicity because a reporter or a media outlet fundamentally got something wrong in their reporting. That could be misquoting an attorney or a client about something and that blows up, or a reporter or media outlet has taken the wrong perspective or the wrong approach as to a certain situation and is essentially reporting on the worst case scenario, the worst case interpretation of a discrete set of facts. If this ever happens to you, your law firm, or your client, there's only one thing you can do. You've got to fight back. You've got to fight back and tell your side of the story or the client's side of the story. And when you fight back, there's really two things you have to do. You've got to articulate and you've got to engage. When we talk about articulate, we're talking about actually putting into words what the reporter or media outlet got wrong. Do they merely misquote you or a client in a way that set the stage for an entire uh, unfavorable article? Or did the reporter or media outlet misread or misunderstand a certain situation, certain documents, or perhaps cast them in the worst possible light? And of course, that caused a problem and bad publicity for you, your law firm, or your client. You've got to articulate what the reporter did wrong or the media outlet did wrong because this is going to provide you support when you go to correct the record and tell your side of the story or the client side of the story. This is not the time to be circumspect or to be brief. Make sure that you are thoughtful about what the media outlet got wrong and you're explaining why it was wrong and you're providing supporting evidence of why it was wrong. After you've articulated what went wrong, it's time to engage. The first step when you're engaging is to go back to the source, go back to the reporter. And now that you're armed with this articulated reason, uh, reasons for why the original reporting was wrong, go back to the reporter and ask them if they could correct the story or update the story to reflect what you think the errors were and to correct those errors. If that doesn't work, go to the reporter's editor and explain that you think that the reporter has written something that's untrue uh, or is not 100% accurate and you would like to correct the record, you went to the reporter, they declined. If that doesn't work, I would think about how to still go to that, that outlet and tell your side of the story. That could be writing an op-ed or a letter to the editor, or that could be buying an ad. I understand that seems kind of strange, paying a media outlet money to tell your side of the story to rebut what the media outlet you think did wrong, but that's still a possible tactic that you could put into play. If you've gone to the media outlet and they're not willing to play ball, the, the other side of engagement is using your own resources and your own media, if you will, media outlets, to tell your side of the story. Maybe that means your law firm or your client putting up a, a page on the website dedicated to telling your side of the story You'll include this articulation of what was wrong about the reporting. You could add perhaps a transcript of the interview if one existed, audio recording or video recording of the interview. You could add your own uh, statements, the firm's own statements, the client's own statements as a rebuttal to the article. I've seen some firms and some clients go almost line by line uh, to rebut what they think was wrong in uh, a media outlet news article. And once you have that website, you can then share that on social media. You can put it on um, a, your, your blog. You could blast it out to clients, uh, employees, referral sources, business partners, other key audience members who you think need to hear your side of the story. If a reporter or a media outlet gets something fundamentally wrong about a story that caused that story to uh, impact your law firm or your client in a negative way, you need to fight back and tell your side of the story. You need to articulate what went wrong and then engage that media outlet and other key audiences so as to try to mitigate 
any reputational damage or business damage this wrong reporting might have caused. The last thing you want to do is stand pat, not fight back, and not tell your side of the story. If you don't tell your side of the story in the court of public opinion, the other side will almost always prevail in that court.